Good evening. It's the 3rd of December tonight. Uh, it's later on in the evening. It's dark yet. It's rained most of the day. Uh, I've been busy all day, but I've come into the greenhouse to do a little bit of work. And I'm really just going to do a five minute video just to show you another update on the grow lights. I've taken the onions that I had on the lights, I've taken them off and put them on. As you notice, it's very bright here because I'm stood outside my growth cabinet. I'm just going to quickly refresh your memories and I'll put the picture onto the growth cabinet and then I'll show you the difference that the, the different types of lights have made. Get it turned around here. That's it. Right, if you remember, that's the growth cabinet. Um, metal halide lights at either end and a sodium light in the middle where the onions were on. I'm going to take it off. I keep on changing everything about everything every four or five days in there uh, with the onions as you can see they've been taken off I've put some new ones on and I've just germinated under there now uh, these are the onions these are Pendle Blanche Leaks which I've uh, they've only been struck about four days four or five four days I think um, we struck those uh, I've put them on the lights just to and they are standing up well I'm gonna move down to the onions uh, we've just sown some uh, seed. This is uh, Pendle Blanche Leek seed. Just on a couple of trays. I'm going to be on setting some more Pendle Leeks tomorrow. We'll just have a look at this grass. As you can see, it's uh, rooted up nicely. Lovely and white. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice and clean. And I've got the trays underneath already watered, ready for them to be set away in. That's a few more. This light is not on all the time. I've only put it on because it's dark in here. And it was just to show you the... It's really just an update on the onions and to show you the different lights. Um, if you remember, two weeks ago... Well, I kept it exactly two weeks of the day. I put onions in. These are these are a later batch that I've sown. Uh, they've germinated nicely. And they're at the crook stage, where a lot of people would prick out. But I do like to see them beyond this. Um, two weeks ago, we put we uh, filled under the the light chamber. Well, the lighting uh, T5. I put onions like that on. This is what's come off after two weeks. Now these have had 24 hour lights. Now I'm just going to show you this tray. Um, they have been on the outside of the T5 light. This tray here, we're right in the middle of the T5 light. So you can see there's a big difference if you've got them in the middle to on the outside. Uh, the light diminishes rapidly the further away from the main light it gets. That's the centre one. So they have come very nicely and that's after two weeks. And not forgetting these plants were only sown uh, not quite, yeah, a month ago. So they are four weeks old. They've done very well. Moving along, these plants much bigger much stronger i'm going to show you the next to each other these ones have been on the growth cabinet under the sodium the high pressure 600 watt sodium light and these have had two weeks under that light but they're only 12 hours a day whereas those ones had 24 hours a day so you can see there's a vast difference with different lights that you use obviously the cost is a lot more for this particular light but the results are far greater uh, as I say, the, the choice is yours, but as you can see, and move along a little bit, as you can see, there is a, a vast difference. So they were on the outside of the T5. They were right in the center of the T5. We'll just look above that. They were on the high pressure sodium light, 600 watt in the cabinet. Now they've had 12 hours light. These have had 24 hours light. So as you can see, there's a, a vast difference. Um, they're possibly a little big to post out, but these are ideal for posting out. But if I was growing them on for heavy weights myself, uh, obviously I would give them. I, I wouldn't give them any more light to be honest with you. That's what they got last year and previous years, and that just gives them that little boost. Uh, again, they're only a month old. These ones have just been sown. Uh, not, well, t coming up to two weeks. As you can see, this is the, the warmer side of the cables. The back side is just starting to germinate nicely now. Now, these are on heat cables. Everything else in the greenhouse is growing nicely. Uh, we've still got a few heads to set. And as you can see, I'm going to be on here 
Uh, tomorrow I've got a friend who comes and helps. The virus free leaks are looking good. They're on the end of the bench on that side. But all the leaks are growing away nicely. All the, these are all cells. People will be eager to know when they're gonna get the plants. Uh, they're about ready now. I'm just needing a little bit of time. I'm still on with uh, helping with Christmas trees. As soon as the trees are finished with, uh, I'm we wholesale them. Once they're finished, that wholesale side, my job's done. I'll be in getting leaks prepared, ready to send out. That's great. Round right. Uh, I'm still wrapped up after coming in from the cold, but I hope that little update just enlightened you a little bit about the different lights. Obviously, as the season goes on, uh, the onions won't be getting any more light, but I will be putting leaks in. Uh, anything I want to boost, but I'll be honest, I try not to push leaks too hard. There's a lot of big leaks about at the minute. I'm not looking for really big plants. I'm over the moon with this size at the present moment. Oh, turn it, I'll turn it around. Just with this size, I'm more than happy with those. They're good enough for me. Right, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you again in maybe a week or two. Thanks, bye-bye.